there's a long list of printers ranging from 15,000 to a lakh and more. But if you're a curious bug like me who wishes to try their hands with 3D printing, what do you do? Well, you get the cheapest one. So I've been using Creality's Ender 3 that costs just 20,000 and if you've watched my previous video, then you know that I've been using it for a long time because in the last video I printed that giant AirPod. And I've been also making all these cool things like this OnePlus stand, cute little baby Yoda, a sticky notes holder that shaped like a snail, the sacred Benji, this tiny octopus, and this paper bag that's printed, you know. Surprised? And that is not even the coolest thing that I printed. I also printed this. I'm Kaushal from techwiser.com and this is my one month experience of using this 3D printer. Let's quickly talk about 3D printing and get the definition out of the way. I'll keep it simple, but if you want the boring version, Wikipedia is to your left. Basically, it's a process of creating objects layer by layer by stacking material on top of each other until you get the finished product. I read a few tutorials and watched a lot of YouTube videos before opening the box, so I knew how complicated the assembly was going to be. Ender 3 comes partially assembled, neatly buried in styrofoam. The box has this one page of manual which technically is sufficient, but I would suggest you watch a few videos before you get into it because it would be much better and frankly there were some parts that were even confusing for me like figuring out this x axis was confusing but i figured it out eventually and assembled it in like two hours without hitting any major snags after tightening up everything we are almost ready to print but first let's talk about what this printer can actually do as you can see the print bed is not huge it's a 220 by 220 mm plate and the height of 220 mm which would be fine for most things you'd want to print it also has a universal power supply but you have to manually switch to your country standard you can control the interface with this dial and the lcd display shows all the information you can either use a micro sd card or plug in a mini usb cable directly to your computer to start printing print our first model we need two more things one is raw material and the other is of course the 3d model getting the raw material is easy you can find a lot of variety on amazon 3d printer filament is cheap and you can print a variety of materials such as pla abs pedg etc which all have different physical properties for example, ABS is really strong, PETG is tricky to figure out and that's why PL is the best choice to begin with your 3D printing adventures. Because it is both easier to work with and has a decent strength plus it comes in a variety of colors. But I chose white because I am going to paint it afterwards anyway. Now the 3D model. You don't have to install Blender and start creating your own models just yet. You can download the 3D models from Thingiverse like the rest of us. Your first roll of element will be spent on figuring out the 3D printer anyway. There are plenty of websites where you can find 3D models and one of the most popular ones is Thingiverse. You can find tons of useful and fun projects but the best part is that everything is free. So what should we download? Why not Baby Yoda? Because you know, this is the way. We got the Baby Yoda but Ender 3 only understands simple commands. So we need a slicing software to convert the 3D files into a G-code file. You can use any slicing software but I used IdeaMaker as it is really intuitive. You can customize a 3D object to a T but let's stick with the default settings for now. After slicing the model, copy the files to the micro SD card and start the print. The printer will do its pre-print ritual and begin printing once it heats up. Here's a little time lapse for you to enjoy. So the print is finished and this little fella took around 6 hours to print. But the good thing about Ender 3 is it has this flexible plate which makes removing prints like really easy. 3D printing is a slow process and I don't mind that at all but 
The printer gets really loud when it's printing something. I had to put the printer next to my work desk and this is what I had to endure for 8 hours a day straight for a month. Listen. But I couldn't stop myself and I printed a bunch of stuff to test the capabilities. Hold on, let me show you. So I printed this much. The very first thing that I printed was this tiny dog. I don't know if you can see this, but this doggy has a line on its forehead. This happened because the filament ran out and I didn't pause the print to replace the filament. Next, I printed this Pokeball. This Pokeball was printed in three parts, top, bottom and the hinge. When I assembled everything together, the hinge kept breaking because I wasn't printing it dense enough. Increasing the infill density fixed it. Next, I printed this claw. Just like the previous print, the moving parts fused together during printing and I had to tweak a few slicer settings to fix this problem. Took me two tries though. Next, I printed this top. As you can see, the layer has shifted at this point. It happened because I accidentally bumped the 3D printer while it was doing its job. So maybe don't do that. Next, I printed this vase. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it and it came out perfect. I just wanted to print it because it looks really cool and look at the level of detail that you can achieve with this 3D printer. After that, I printed a bunch of plastic cards. These look ordinary, but when you put a light source behind them, they reveal a really cool image. Next, I was inspired by Linus's Studio Tour video and wanted to design something similar to organize our SD cards. I designed this simple card holder and hot glued magnets to the back. It really made organizing SD cards effortless. These past few weeks were so much fun. Creating all those things and learning all about the 3D printing process, I loved it. But this doesn't negate the fact that you still have to figure out things on your own when you encounter a problem. However, if you're willing to invest the time to figure out the problems and tweak the settings, 3D printing can be awesome. Plus, there's a strong community of creators on Reddit and YouTube that would always help you out when you face a problem with your printer. So, should you buy it? If you want to get into the world of 3D printing, Ender 3 is a good start. So what are you going to print? On that note, I'm Kaushal signing off. Stay curious, make things and stay wiser. I'll see you around.